Hi guys, I just want to make this quick video concerning the uh, geological <clears throat> birth pains data that we've got at the moment. So I'll just go into them. I'll just hit them as they come. Um, first uh, data sheet here is the earthquakes. And you can see this is the daily graph. And we have just hit a big spike. So the earthquakes have spiked up here to a point of 19 red alert earthquakes in the last 30 days compared to like down here you can see the end of August it was at three so it's gone from three up to 19 and so obviously danger point would be around 22 so that gives you a bit of an idea so it's jumped up it jumped up here and then in the last Nine for the eleventh. In the last two weeks, it's jumped from you know um, ten to nineteen. So that's the daily earthquakes. We've gone through a big spike. Actually, the monthly average has gone up as well. It was um, it was twelve, I believe, or. Th or th 13.5 I think it was and then it after putting my numbers in this weekend uh, Sunday <clears throat> it went to 15 and you can see the average as well of a continuously increasing monthly average so we'll see how that pans out uh, total earthquakes pretty basic pretty basic um, stable level that's the total amount of any magnitude earthquake red alert earthquakes now we've seen here's the main point of the earthquakes we've seen one of the biggest um weak uh, average for red alert earthquakes ever on this um on this uh, data graph here because it hit in the blue it's hard to see because the red one's in the way as well but in the blue you can see this hit nine so there were nine red alert earthquakes um, in one week which the average if you take the average here the average is about three you know the the record was eight but we've hit nine in the last week there was a big spike last week there was a big spike and there was nine red alert earthquakes in one week and you can see this has pushed the 30 day average up to this level here 17 19 18 <clears throat> and so yeah the earthquakes are um, the earthquakes are on the rise so now volcano numbers you see from this graph here like back in um, mid July, it was at the level of 38. Sorry, mid, yeah, mid July here. And he rose up to an average of 42. And then you can see it's jumped up in the last one, two, three, four, month and a half, two months. It's jumped from here to here, which is a higher level of what it's, what it, normally is so um and here's like an average that i've tried to make of cutting out all the weird drops <clears throat> so if you look at this graph this is like the average without faults whoops and so um but like you can see from that bit of the graph there that you know since the end of 2019 it's been on the move and Again, it's at, a, it's at a high point at the moment. So, yeah, so volcanoes are on the rise as well. And then Yellowstone. Yellowstone volcano has been a weird one. These weird readings around here where the discharge level was down to a very, very, very minimal level. This is the amount of steam that's given off. Then the water temperature, anyone who follows me probably know seen these posts already, but it hit its hottest level 
that it has done since I started beginning these records. So in the last even, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven years, seven years, it's hit its hottest level. And that was only um, in August. And then it's dropped down, you see, to a maximum coldest level. It's hard to really see on this graph, but um, these readings over here are spurious. Hang on, let me show you. Uh, see if it's water the, the 2018, 2017. Yeah, there you go, 2018 marked in red. All right, and these two, so they were spur kind of uh, spurious temperature. So it might be a problem with the data, might be my fault, but these ones you see here, which are down here, are actually kind of wrong reading so they need if you bring them up to the average you'll see that this has actually hit a record low <laughs> i know it sounds so stu stupid that a super volcano should be at its coldest but it might actually be the old sort of energy rule of like the tsunami before the tsunami comes in you have a pullback of the ocean same during a storm, a really big storm will actually pull the water from a different part of the world and dump it on um, wherever the storm is. And so it's like nature's always trying to be in balance. Maybe this is the balance that there's a super heat coming so that this super cold comes first. You know what I mean? Like a pull out effect. Um, or maybe it's to imbalance with this. It's like it had a super hot, so maybe it's having a super cold. But um, personally, I, I believe that uh, it's a, it's like a pullback effect, that it'll go super cold. It'll be a quiet before a storm comes. I, I do believe that. And there's the gauge height. So Yellowstone, <laughs> it's gone to super cold after being at a super hot level. And these birth pain signs are all going to be birth pain signs of the throne getting nearer. So we'll have earthquakes increasing before the throne hits. Volcanoes will be also part of that. Um, auroras, which you're seeing in the sky, it's happening now. And here you have Yellowstone. So either it dry, well, it's probably likely going to all dry out, shut down, something like that before the throne of God hits. When the throne of God hits, there'll be a massive earthquake as he locks on. Um, and everything else that's going to happen, the earth flipped upside down. The full moon will become blood red on that day. So you need to watch out for these earthquakes because they're the primary birth pain of the throne of God and the bear will come in at the sixth seal. But of course, then all <clears throat> you've got to watch for the, the, the seven seals happening first, so the Antichrist being crowned, war outbreak from Israel, market collapse, the Dome of the Rock being destroyed during that, the takedown of North America by North Korea, uh, and then everyone will cry out to God for his help, for his vengeance, for his salvation, and then that's when the throne of God will hit. And Yellowstone Volcano, because Yellowstone Volcano is the bottomless pit. And the bottomless pit will be opened and the smoke will come out of the pit. And this will also be the pit that Satan will be bound in. Uh, the pit will darken the sun and the air. And these creatures, which are like these creatures on this image here, will come out and sting the people who are not the servants of God. So they'll sting the people who are not the 144,000 and don't have the seal of God on their foreheads for five months. So this is why, um, well, this this is part and parcel of just keeping watch of these things, really, um, because they're all part of what's going to happen in the end of the age. So, so I've been Pastor Prophet Justin Roberts from End of the Age Bible Prophecy. God bless you all. Amen.